Thank you for watching this video that's part of 365 Careers PowerPoint course. In this lesson, we will show you how to create and customize slide masters in PowerPoint presentations. A slide master is the top slide in a hierarchy of slides that stores information about the theme and slide layouts of a presentation, including the background, color, fonts, effects, placeholder sizes, and positioning. Every presentation has a slide master. The main advantage of using slide masters is that we can make changes to every slide in a given presentation by modifying only once. We don't have to redo the changes to all slides, as once they have been performed to the master slide, they will automatically be included in the rest of the slides of the presentation as well. Slide masters are extremely useful when we have to work on long presentations. Given that they affect the look of your entire presentation, when you create and edit a slide master or corresponding layouts, you work in slide master view. In order to access the slide master view, you have to select view and then click on the slide master button. It is always a good practice to create and edit the slide master before you start working on the other slides of the presentation. Let's delete the content boxes, which appear by default, in order to start working on a blank slide. The difference between these two slides over here is that the one above is the slide master and the one below is the submaster slide. Whatever we apply to the master slide will be applied to the submaster slide. But if we want to modify the submaster slide, we can do that and change it individually. Let's make a few modifications. First of all, we'd like to establish that we are working in Arial. Within the slide master tab, we can go to fonts and select the font that we would like to work with. The result of this modification is that all slides in the presentation and all slides which will be created using this master slide will be in Arial. This is valid for newly inserted objects as well. The next thing we will do is insert a text box and adjust its font size to 30. OK. This is where the title of the slides would lie. I will put the title in bold. Let's add another text box, which would contain a slide summary. It would have a font size of 12 and will be in italic. Perfect. Our first pattern is ready. This will be the initial layout of the slides within the presentation. Let's assign a name to the slide master that we created. I'll name it Content Slide. Now we are ready to close the slide master view. When we go to the Home tab and click on the Insert New Slide button, we will find the template that we just created. Let's insert a few of these slides. OK. Let's go a step further. You can see that some work has been done on the slides that we added. Each of the new slides are filled with some content. What if after we have done all this work, our boss comes and says, hey, let's change the font of the entire presentation from Arial to Georgia. Instead of quitting your job and risking several months of unemployment, you can do the following. Open Slide Master View, go to Fonts, and select Georgia. This will change the font of all slides that correspond to this Slide Master. We were able to modify the entire presentation with just a single adjustment. Slide Masters come in really handy when working on large presentations.